Yo, welcome back to the Bunny Barn. I thought today we just um, would sew on a patch together. So yeah, why not? I, um, basically, I have said this was sil silk screen. This is not silk screen. This is actually textile. Um, I guess I could tell somewhat of a difference. I basically the last video before this, I said it was silk screen. Well, it's not silk screen. So, and this is an exciter patch. Let me go ahead and just show you. Hopefully you can see that well. Um, anyways, what I'm gonna have to do now, because this is the fact there are pockets in here and it's getting in the way, I have to like trim it down a little bit so I could like sew a little bit more easier, but then I'm just gonna end up sewing that back on. I am gonna go ahead and just cut it a little bit. These textile ones are a little bit slippery, that's for sure. Um, I still haven't gotten a thimble, um, that's optional, but, um, you know, if you guys want to get a thimble, that'll probably help out. I'm using, yes, I know I'm using yellow, um, I guess that's just the artistic part of me, like, obviously I saw this, um, Mega Death one, and I was like, oh, if I've used the yellow stitching to go with this, you know, faded yellow, it's gonna look, you know, like, freaking awesome, so how, who doesn't want that you know so and I was gonna use red with the social distortion but I was like no nah, I don't know but now I'm kind of regretting it but I don't feel like going back so yeah uh, maybe if it comes undone I'll do it I know it's not smart to go in and then back in like that do the pinching method and I did that with the rest of my patches that's fine but for this freaking slippery little fuck right here I am going to be going in, out, in, out, because I don't want to ruin it. If I do the pinching thing, I get the feeling, and then I'm not a very gentle person, so I get the feeling I'll be doing some stupid shit that I'm not supposed to. Oh, shit, don't. Oh, there's already a knot there. Okay, I was going to tie a knot, but apparently, you can't see that shit, but apparently there's already a knot there, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of cheating here, because, you know, why the fuck not? Um, I stuck it in through underneath here. So you don't have to see the knot, which is a mistake I've done on previous one. And then I'm going to try to get it through the damn patch. But man, shit, it's giving me a hard time today. And I was able to do the first roll with no problem. I'm going to use this makeup. No, that doesn't want to do it. It takes like a good amount of stabbing just to fucking get... Ah, I did something. Okay, no, it's... Okay, well, not exactly where I wanted it, but... It'll do for now. Pull it up to wherever it fucking. There's this thing. Okay. There's the knot. Alright. So then I'm gonna go back in and down like that. <clears throat> Should have used a bigger needle, but I was afraid that if I use a bigger needle, that it was gonna make a really big hole. And like I said, I am not the most gentle person in the world. I really wish I could play some music, but I don't want to get any more like copyright warnings from YouTube. Not that I'm making any fucking money off this uh, stuff, but get any. There we go. Sometimes your handy dandy makeup remover helps with shit like that. Thank goodness I'm a makeup artist. So I could have a bunch of bottles to help me out. Um. So yeah, what's new with you guys? Anything new? Um, let me know. What's up with you guys? Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad some people out there liked my like my videos as well as the ones that are disliking them. Um, apparently, a lot of people feel like I owe them explanations on everything. Um, I don't owe you shit, fucker. So <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Come on, go through, go through. Okay, got one in. Get the other one out, come on. Okay. Trusty makeup remover, help me please. I really don't like sewing. <laughs> I really don't. Like, no, but when you get into the, I think it's just this patch. It's just this patch that's giving me a hard time. When you get into it, like especially with this Mega Death one, the cloth and everything, it goes all swell. You know, everything's great. Don't get me wrong. You know, when people are over there telling you shit and try to educate you on stuff that they're not educated on just means your channel's getting bigger and it is and I'm so happy for the subscribers I've gotten thank you um, thank you so much um, you know I think I'm close to 130 yes I finally got you in there close to 130 so I couldn't be any more happier um, 
I mean, my summer goal is to like get to um, 200. But like the ultimate goal is like 666. You know what I mean? I think that's like every metalhead's goal right there. Make sure that shit's a little tight. You know what? Let's go for the bigger needle. Okay, we're gonna try with a bigger needle. Let's see if I can get any shit done with the bigger needle. I've been yes, that was so much easier. Okay, I could have made shit more easier for me by just going with the bigger needle. But no, I was like fucking afraid that I was gonna like mess up the patch so badly. So it's funny we don't care about ruining the denim jacket because that's the point. But when it comes to the patch, oh hell no, motherfucker. Uh uh. Sweet sweet, my friend Corinne. She was like, well, if you want, you can send it to me because I took a home ec class and I can sew it for you. Just mail it to me and I'll mail it back to you. I was like, no, thank you so much. But, you know, I ain't going to be that. You know, that's like, you know, that's your metalhead pride right there. You need to sew your damn jacket, right? Um, you need to go through the stabbings of the needles and all that stuff. Okay, now it's getting a lot easier. Yeah, I fucking should have just done that. Shit, what the hell? Bless her little soul. I would say God bless you, but I don't believe in God, so. Um, but yeah, bless, you know, may the dark goddess bless you, Corinne, but I gotta do this shit on my own. Um, you saw some of the stitching, you're all like, that's horrible, like, yeah, I told you, I sucked that. So, anyways, Ozfest meets Notfest is coming back to North America, you guys. So that's why I've been putting in some applications for a part-time job, because, you know, I don't want to get in about my career or anything. Let's just say it's not going the way I want it to go. So I need like income, you know, because it's technically freelance. It's like the extra income and it takes a while for it to become the main income. And for me, it's just taking forever. And plus, I don't know how to ass lick that well. Let's just say that. I don't want to say I failed, but I'm still going at it. It's just unfortunately... I need to find other work and every time when I'm almost about to get a job or something it's like a freelance gig comes up but then for some reason that job won't call me up like I had the hookup and everything with this one friend and he's like okay I told them that they're about you they're gonna call you up and they didn't call me back but yet they hired a bunch of you know fucking teenagers that it was it's like you know it was one of those customer service jobs that pays well and and I was like afraid, like, you know, like, oh, what do they don't like me? Because, you know, it's been, you know, I've never done a customer service job before. All I've done is just like, you know, cashier and that's it. <laughs> it's like, that's all I ever done before I did like freelance. And they, a lot of people don't like seeing the freelance thing. But then when you don't, when you don't put like an actual, like, you know, if I were to leave a blank from the freelance, then they get mad. They're like, well, hi, why haven't you been working? It's like, fuckers, I, you, nobody's been hiring me. So, or even calling me. Or, and then when I call them, they're like, oh, we'll call you back later, blah, blah, blah. So, anyways, he told me not to worry that almost any idiot could pull off this job. And I was like, oh, great, I feel like an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> so, but of course, they didn't call me back. I guess I wasn't that much of an idiot for them. Which is like a compliment, I guess. So I'm going to see Iron Maiden in July 1st. That one I've been having my ticket for. I was shit. I poked myself. I poked myself. Um, so that one I've been having my ticket for. Uh, well, technically my friend has it because she bought them. She, um, we're we're going to spend the night over there at a, ho at a motel. She paid for the room and everything because they kind of like dropped that last minute on me. And they were like, oh, you want to like stay the night are you okay because you know it's gonna be in san bernardino and coming back at night is like a whole nother story so and i was like uh yeah i don't mind but she ended up paying for it so that's good and i was like because i didn't really want to pay for that <laughs> but it was but the thing is i think i'm gonna go over there all broke which makes me fucking mad but it's fine I was kind of hoping to get some patches but when I think about it, I kind of already have all those bands patches. Well, I don't have an Iron Maiden patch. I really don't. Here's the thing. I love Iron Maiden and all, but I'm more excited to see Ghost BC. Because I love Ghost. And, you know, just the whole, like, oh, God, with well, that whole opening of that one theme from Eyes... The opening from Eyes Wide Shut is like, holy shit. I love it. It's so demonic and so dark i love that shit it's like a horror movie man but done right um oh what's her name madame laura i think that's her name um she's real cool i like watching her i think she's one of like the fewest there's not that many metal females out there i know i've noticed um but she's real cool um 
Like, she's like, she's real nice and everything. She looks like very genuine. I like watching her channel. Um, I just wish she would make more videos, but I like watching her. I like hearing her talk. She has like a nice soft voice and everything. I kind of sound creepy. You know, I wish there was like more metal, female metal, metal heads out there. Um, you know, that have a channel and all. But if I could be one of the first ones to like open the gateway, that will be great. There probably is. I did try doing a search one time. I found a... A couple of African Americans which was really cool but one of them was just mainly doing like makeup makeup and it was all like the brands I hate it wasn't even like the brands I liked so I didn't um I didn't follow her if I want a beauty channel I'll follow actual makeup artists you know it's ah ah it's too late it's fucking through ah fuck oh god okay anyways where was I Oh, but how am I going to be able to do it anyway? All the lettering. Okay, I got to be super damn careful with this. With the fucking lettering. See? See? No, don't see it, please. I'm embarrassed. Um, anyways, um, there's like this big hump right here. So I'm just going to like not go through it. Killbot um, and Gorgo Attack. I follow him. He's super energetic, dude. It's like he's so adorable. Oh, God, I sound old. Talking. We're not even that far apart in age, but he's just so freaking adorable. A lot of people say he looks like Dave Mustaine, and since I'm like a hardcore Mega Death fan and I'm like in love with Dave Mustaine, I don't see it. <laughs> it's like I, I mean, he has the gingerness and everything. Um, there are times where I could see it, but it's not like I don't know. To me, there could only be one Dave Mustaine, I guess. He freaking dug a damn ditch. I cannot get this shit in there worth a the shit. What the fuck? But anyways. He's been one of my favorites to watch, and so is Black Metal Rebellion. Um, he's really, really chill to talk to. I like talking to that guy a lot. Um, super chill. Um, he, and then I also like, like I said, Monday and Laura. I'm so sorry if I'm saying the first part wrong. Not that she'll watch this video, but I am so sorry if she does watch this. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But holy shit, when I saw her sewing her damn patch, then again, it wasn't a, a freaking textile one. She does it so damn fast. I kept watching that video over and over just so I could, like, get, you know, good at it. Which, it's not going that way for me, apparently. Uh, oh, I love hearing it once it goes pop. Fest, um, there's no lineup yet. July 10th, I believe, is when they start announcing the lineup and everything and more details and my best friend, we're gonna go. I don't freaking care if I have to bug every freaking producer to contact me back and try to help me find work or whatever. I will fucking do it so I can save up money and get a ticket. Probably won't be able to afford to buy her one this year because last year the reason why we went well, she could have bought her own ticket, but I wanted to make sure to get at least one of the days for her um, for her birthday. It was an early birthday present. Well, the event was not on her birthday. It was after. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this year. But if I get the money, I sure will get it for her birthday again. Oh, Downsy. Downsy is another channel I like watching again, too. Um, oh, God, yeah. You guys need to watch Downsy. He is hilarious as fuck. I usually catch him before I go to bed when he uploads and he is like the coolest I, I noticed like him like he is just so awesome to talk to and oh god heavy metal entertainment god I, I always get the way they did that that freaking um what's it called the opening to the metal box and see this is what I gotta do <laughs> you guys are like what the fuck is she doing like I know I know just yeah um Anyways, you guys, I'm just hoping that it's a good lineup. Like, I was very surprised with the lineups because I remember when it just used to be OzFest. He had nothing but mainstream stuff, like maybe Motley Crue. Oh, God. Oh, no, Motley Crue's done, right? I was about to say, like, I ain't sticking around to fucking see no Motley Crue. Fuck that shit. Um, but, yeah, he had, like, it was, like, all bands that were like played on k-rock but you know sharon wants her fucking money so and she's all about being mainstream so i can't stand the bitch i really can't stand her from what i heard she's still with ozzy that's what i heard um 
did not surprise me that she was not going to leave him. It did not. And I don't know why she's so fucking surprised that Ozzy cheated on her. Isn't that what all rock stars do? When I do these videos, it makes me happy. Um, it really does. It, I'm so happy of the small community I've been part of with the heavy metal. Um, I do bath products as well, mainly for like, that's more for like the girls. Because, you know, I don't see why I can't add a few girly things here and there. I mean, I understand you guys don't want to watch it, but it's like, I really feel like it's more like the girls uh, who are not happy that I did heavy metal. But I wasn't, you know, they weren't being faithful to me anyways, so it's like... You know, there's only like one or two people out there that I still faithfully watch my channel from the bath community. So, and right now, it's like I didn't, you know, I'm really happy with the heavy metal community. I really, really am. And I really, really hope that, you know, my channel will be one of those channels that gets bigger and I get to talk to more people and stuff. Because even though I have a great amount of subscribers now... You know, I don't get so many comments or anything like that. It's like, I love it when I get a comment, well, a long story, a good comment. Um, you know, um, talking about just, just talking about my video or whatever. That's it. That's all I could ask for. And yeah, I know you can see it lifting up right there. I know. Oh no, maybe you can't see it. Um, but yeah, and basically I don't know where the fuck this video is going but you know I like talking about nerdy things too that's another fun thing I love to talk about you know I'm still working on a comic book collection and everything so and I love talking about movies so you know I like to say that this channel is a little bit of everything but it's probably mainly heavy metal and other um and, you know bath products and stuff like that so I can't wait for Halloween so I can start doing that 13 movie month talk again of horror movies you know what i'm gonna throw some people out there um samuel trejo he um collects comic books real nice guy um he i wanted to start a comic book collection he made a video a quick video on how to like store them and everything definitely a guy to talk to if you want to talk about comic books um want to want to see like movie reviews and honest ones not like chris stuckman shit that you know it has such a snobby taste and just looks at you know the effects and the style like in and stuff like that i'm sorry that guy has gone downhill for me real like no bullshit and but regardless always remember is their opinion um the samurai guy the fat samurai guy i mean <laughs> fat samurai guy um definitely a great guy to watch um i love him real nice guy to talk to uh, another heavy metal entertainment definitely watch them hilarious 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 guys they're from like the united kingdom um very hilarious downsy if you want to know more about festivals um from down with this sort of thing watch his stuff oh god he he, he makes me laugh and what's who's the other one slay mcroth especially if you're german um but like i said you can always just put the subtitle thing on that's what i do where the fuck did i do with that needle oh shit i'm fucking scared now you guys i don't know where the, the hell i did with the needle is it this one? Oh shit okay well i need to be very careful now okay anyways back to the recommendation Mad madane laura again i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong um Fuck. Where did I do with that needle? Yeah, one of the only fewest women in metal on YouTube that I know of. Um, Killbot and Gargoyle Attack. Yeah, very hilarious guy um, to watch. And Black Metal Rebellion, especially if you're into black metal. I love his videos. Oh, god damn it, dog of mine. I know she doesn't need to go out to the bathroom because she just went right before I started this. Um... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call, cut this off. I already did my little recommendations. Um, and if you're into bath bombs or any of that stuff, then definitely watch Crazy Cat. Oh, shit. Cam Finney. How could I forget about Cam Finney? Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Cam Finney is like an awesome person to go watch. Definitely. Um, um, definitely watch his channel as well. He's a smaller YouTuber just like me. Almost all of them are small YouTubes, actually. Huh? Yeah, but those are the ones I've interacted with a lot so that's why i wanted to leave those um what's it called those um links below but 
yeah anyways you guys I think I said pretty much everything um thanks you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you guys soon bye it's really dark right now but that's the little monster right there who's always barking that's my dog Sophie she's a Pomeranian she has like a shitty haircut right now and we're gonna be shaving her all the way until winter starts because fall here is not cold here in California it's like still hot as hell so now she's not barking anymore because she just wanted attention and there she goes laying down and ignoring me when I'm trying to give her attention